The Iowa cornfields whisper secrets. They guard a place where dreams come alive. The field of dreams. Just stepping onto that field, you feel it. A sense of history, of hope, of pure joy. It's like stepping into a time capsule, back to the heart of baseball. The air hums with anticipation. Every blade of grass seems to vibrate with the energy of games past. You can almost hear the crack of the bat, the roar of the crowd. It's a place where time stands still. I remember my first visit. I was with Portia and we were both completely swept away by the magic of the place. We started tossing a baseball around, just the two of us. Then, a family walked onto the field, their laughter carried on the breeze. Their youngest son, maybe eight years old, was clutching a well-worn mitt. He looked a little shy, standing there on the edge of the field. Portia gave me that look, the one that says, go make a friend. We invited the family to join us for a game of catch. The sun was setting, casting a golden hue over the field, and the air was filled with the sound of laughter and the thud of the baseball hitting gloves. It was a perfect evening to connect and share a moment of joy. Soon, we were laughing, trading stories, and making memories. The kids were running around, their faces lit up with excitement, while the adults reminisced about their own childhood. It was as if time had slowed down, allowing us to savour each second. The dad, it turned out, had driven all the way from Boston. He spoke about the long journey, the anticipation building with each mile, and the joy of finally arriving at this iconic site. His eyes sparkled with a mix of exhaustion and exhilaration. He'd grown up watching Field of Dreams with his grandfather, and this trip was a lifelong dream. As he shared stories of those cherished movie nights, you could feel the deep bond he had with his grandfather and how this place was a tribute to those memories. His wife, a warm and witty woman, told us about their family's love for the Red Sox. She recounted tales of attending games at Fenway Park, the thrill of the crowd, and the shared excitement of watching their favorite team play. Her stories were filled with passion and pride. Their daughter, a budding artist, was busy sketching the iconic farmhouse in her notepad. Her concentration was intense, capturing every detail with care. It was clear that this place had sparked her creativity and she was determined to preserve the memory in her own unique way. We discovered shared passions, common ground. Conversations flowed easily, and we found ourselves talking about everything from favorite baseball moments to personal dreams and aspirations. It was amazing how a simple game of catch could bring people together so effortlessly. In that moment, we weren't strangers. We were kindred spirits, brought together by our love for the game. The connections we made felt genuine and lasting, as if we had known each other for years. It was a reminder of the power of shared experiences and the bridges they can build between us. There's something so pure, so elemental about playing catch. The satisfying thud of the ball in your glove, the rhythm of the throw, the anticipation of the catch. It's a language we all understand, a connection that transcends words. On that field, surrounded by cornfields and dreams, we weren't celebrities or fans. We were just people, enjoying a simple game together. It was a reminder that sometimes, the most profound connections are forged in the simplest of moments. Section 5 Beyond the Diamond, a tapestry of lives. Over the years, I've met so many incredible people at the Field of Dreams. Families on cross-country road trips, fulfilling childhood promises. Couples celebrating anniversaries, their love story intertwined with the movie's magic. Retired players, 
sharing stories of their glory days. Each encounter has added a new thread to the rich tapestry of the Field of Dreams. It's a place where life stories intersect, where generations connect, where the love of the game unites us all. Section 6. The Magic of Shared Moments There's a palpable magic at the Field of Dreams. It's a place where time seems to stand still and the worries of the world fade away. Here, the air is filled with the sounds of laughter and the crack of the bat, creating a symphony of joy and camaraderie. It's in the laughter of children chasing flyballs, their faces lit up with pure delight. These moments of unbridled joy remind us of the simple pleasures in life, the ones that often get overshadowed by our daily routines. It's in the quiet conversations between fathers and sons, their gloves tucked under their arms. These are the moments where bonds are strengthened and memories are made. The field becomes a sacred space where generations connect, sharing stories and dreams. It's in the shared smiles of strangers brought together by a common love for the game. Here, differences melt away and what remains is a sense of unity and belonging. The field becomes a melting pot of cultures and backgrounds, all united by the spirit of baseball. It's a reminder that life is about more than just the big moments. It's about the small, seemingly insignificant ones that weave together to create the tapestry of our lives. These moments, though fleeting, leave an indelible mark on our hearts. It's about savoring the small ones, the stolen glances, the inside jokes, the shared laughter that echoes long after the game is over. These are the moments that define us, that remind us of our humanity and our capacity for joy. The shared experiences that stay with us long after the game is over. As we walk away from the field of dreams, we carry with us not just the memories of the game, but the connections we've made, the laughter we've shared, and the magic of those shared moments that make life truly special. Section 7. The Echoes of Laughter and Cheers As the sun sets on the field of dreams, casting long shadows across the diamond, you can almost hear the echoes of games past. The crack of bats, the roar of the crowd, the joyous shouts of victory. But even in the quiet of twilight, the field is alive with energy. It's the energy of memories made, of friendships forged, of dreams taking flight. It's a reminder that some places hold a special kind of magic, a power to connect us to something bigger than ourselves. Section 8. Leaving Footprints on Dreams Every time I leave the field of dreams, I feel a sense of gratitude. Gratitude for the memories made, the friendships formed, the chance to reconnect with the simple joy of the game. It's a reminder that life is a journey and the best adventures are often shared. As you walk away from that field, you can't help but feel like you're leaving a part of yourself behind. A footprint on a field of dreams, a memory etched in time. Section 9. Field of Dreams, where memories bloom. The field of dreams is more than just a baseball field. It's a place where the past and present merge, where the echoes of history meet the laughter of today. It's a symbol of hope, a place where dreams come alive. As the sun sets over the field, it casts a golden glow, reminding us of the endless possibilities that lie ahead. It's a reminder that anything is possible if you dare to dream. The simple act of throwing a ball, catching it and running the bases becomes a metaphor for life's journey. And it's a testament to the power of human connection the way a simple game can bring people together and create memories that last a lifetime. Families gather, friends reunite, and strangers become friends, all united by the love of the game. 
Also, if you ever find yourself in Iowa, make sure to visit the Field of Dreams. It's not just a destination, it's an experience that touches the heart and soul. You might just find yourself catching more than just a baseball. You might catch a moment of pure joy, a connection with a loved one, or a newfound appreciation for the simple things in life. You might just catch a dream, and in that dream, you'll find the essence of what makes the Field of Dreams a place where memories 